In this experiment, we're going to be using the mass and volume of various samples to determine the density. Before you begin, please ensure that you have your proper PPE, including safety glasses and anything else that your instructor requires. And please make sure to clean and disinfect all equipment before you begin. By now, you should have reviewed the instructions as provided by your instructor. So I'm just going to walk through the setup and all the equipment that you have available to you. You're going to need a scale to measure the masses of the various samples that you're working with. You're going to need a beaker full of water with a sponge at the bottom. You're also going to need a graduated cylinder with a sponge at the bottom. And then you're going to need various samples to work with. It's also a good idea to have a rag nearby in case you spill any water. Once you're ready to begin the experiment, start by selecting one sample and measuring its mass. Record that into your lab. Then take your beaker and fill up your graduated cylinder about halfway. We'll start at halfway because when you put your samples in, it's going to displace more water and we don't want to go past the top. Once you have your water in there, take note of the water level and then very carefully drop your sample in. If the water doesn't completely submerge your sample, you're going to have to restart. So very carefully pour it out. Try to catch the sample instead of letting it drop into the beaker. This time we're going to increase our water level. Take note of what the new water level is and then drop our sample in again. And as long as we haven't gone past the top of the graduated cylinder, we can take our new reading and record that in our lab take the difference between the top and where it was originally and that's the volume of water that was displaced by our sample. After that, repeat the same process for all your different samples recording into your lab and continue on from there. Once you've completed taking the masses and volumes of your various samples and recording them into your lab report, the experimentation part of this lab is complete. Please put everything away, making sure to clean and disinfect as you're putting it away, and then continue on with the rest of the lab. If you have any further questions or concerns, please contact your instructor.